Hey everyone, welcome to another video of the Ding Winning Streaming Guide and I've got some cool news because we added a Stinger transition to the Ding Winning Streaming Package to make your scene transitions look super professional and I will show you how you can set it up. So I hope you like the transition because now I'm going to show you how you can set it up in OBS. So what you want to do here is you want to go to scene transitions here in the bottom right corner and you want to add a Stinger. Right now it only has a cut and a fade and we want to add a Stinger. Click there, name it whatever you like, click on OK. And now we're going to want to select the Stinger in the um, in the stream package. So here you've got the stream package, go to the Stinger folder and then select the Stinger transition and click on Open. Once you've done that, you see a lot of settings that you can change. So what we want to change first of all is the audio monitoring. We want to also hear the sound effect of the transition. So we want to change this to monitor and output. Now. We want the Stinger to fully cover the screen so we don't actually see the scenes switching. And that's what the transition point is for. So let's say we set this to a thousand and click on preview transition. You right now see already a little bit of green and the green is the second scene. So this means that it's transitioning too early. So we're going to have to increase the transition point so it fully covers the screen and then it switches the scene. So as I've designed this and I already know the transition point, we want to change this to 1700 milliseconds. So right now if we click on preview, it fully covers it. And then when it opens again, it is on the next scene. So make sure to set this to 1700 milliseconds for this transition. And then you click on OK and it's really that simple. That's all you want to do. So when you switch the scene now, as you can see, it plays the transition and boom, you've got another scene. Now let's say you don't want this to be the case for every single scene. For example, you, you are playing poker and you wanna switch tables. You don't want that stinger to play every single time. So what you're gonna to want to do is you wanna right click and then you wanna to go to transition override and then set it to whatever you like. And for poker, I recommend to set it to fade and set it to like 200 or 300 milliseconds. So what you could also do, let's say almost everything is going to be a fade and you only want one particular scene to use the stinger then of course i recommend to set the main transition to fade so you only have to change one scene individually and override it with uh, with the transition so i hope that helps you set up the stinger transition in obs the stinger transition itself is not customizable so i hope you help support ding winning so we can do many more of those cool projects in the future if you like this video be sure to leave a like be sure to subscribe be sure to comment if you have any questions and if you want to download the stream packets the links in the description